Hey everyone, how's it going? Hyo here, and today I got some Payday 2 gameplay for you guys. This in particular is going to be a guide on what I think is one of the best, if not the best, leveling builds that I've ever come across. And it's really just because I really like the playstyle, but judge for yourself guys. This is also a very good high level, level 100 build. Um, there's going to be better ones, especially if you're V5+, plus or anything like that, where you have a lot of infamy perks. But as far as regular perks go, and as far as new players, this is going to be a very fun and a very good guide for leveling. And so let's jump right into it. I'll show you guys, this is going to be a shotgun build, and it's very up and close and personal. If that's not your play style, this might not be for you, but don't go away. I'll show you some gameplay, and you guys get to be the judge for yourself. So let's go through the shot, uh, through the weapons. So obviously the mass doesn't matter, but the first two weapons I am dual wielding shotguns. And the first one, I am using the M10, the M1014, but you guys can use any of the other ones. Um, actually the two best other options are going to be the Predator and the Isma, I think it's pronounced. The ones with the higher ammo, just because with the abilities that you're getting, it they all do a lot of damage in one shot, pretty much anything on overkill. This build does work best on overkill and below. You can do some death wish missions, but they're very tough and uh, it's it really depends on the mission that you pick for this build. But like I was saying, these two are really good. I just like the M10, so I go with that one. These ones are very low ammo and they're really good in their own right, but I just wouldn't recommend the lower ammo ones. And these ones are medium ammo, these two over here. So I wouldn't pick those either. Or the, the new one, this one's good, the stakeout, but the new one, the breaker, I wouldn't go with that because that is also very low ammo. As far as attachments, you guys see what I got here. I'm using the triple up buck with, uh, you can use whatever attachments you use. I just haven't used a short barrel, uh, whatever muzzle, no boost, a sight, you know, it's just the standard stuff. At uh, attach whatever you guys have, it's no big deal. Um, the main thing, more important thing, the only attachment that is really required is for your secondary. And for this one, you guys have some playroom, but I'll tell you the drawbacks is, I like to use the judge. The drawback is the ammo. You only have 25 shots with this one, so make sure you make them count. If you like shooting around and missing a lot, or if you just happen to miss a lot, then you can use the street sweeper or the locomotive. They just don't do nearly as much damage, and I'll show you why that's very important later. But doing a lot of damage is key in the secondary position so you might want to pick the locomotive or the judge I just like using the judge and you'll see I use the judge with the HE round this is very very important if you're not using the HE round then you might as well not even have the secondary at all HE round is very important it does AOE damage and knocks um, pretty much makes armor use useless for the enemy so very good you can also use the AP slug, but I like the AOE or the area damage of the HE round. And this gun does reload very fast because you get the reload perks for shotguns, even though it is a pistol. And uh, I don't know about Dragon's Breath. I don't have it. But uh, tell me if you, if you guys have used it and it's good. But AP is good. HE, in my opinion, is better. So rock that if you can. All the attachments don't really matter. Just make sure you have the HE round. Alright, so now that we're done with the guns, um, the melee doesn't really matter. Frag grenades or molotovs are pretty good. And of course this is a loud build, so you're going to want um, the best armor you can get. I didn't get improved just because I tend not to die on overkill at least with um, just this armor. So, But for this, I, this is a damage support build, or at least the way I'm running it, so I like to run the healing packs because I do get 14 of them with the perks that I'm using or the skills that I'm using. You can also use two times doctor bag or two times ammo bag if you're having trouble with ammo. And I'll show you how I remedy that but again if you miss a lot or anything like that or if you like helping out your friends and they miss a lot just run the ammo bags or the two times doctor. And so now I'm going to get into the perk decks because I think that is more important so I'm going to get into that real quick. For this one I am using X president it's down here at the bottom. A good front runner is also armor or muscle, but really um, X president is pretty key just because 
I'll show you what how it, how it works. It gives you a lot of um, damage, armor, dodge, all that stuff, but really you want the end. So killing enemy speeds up your armor recovery time, depending on how much armor you have. The more armor, the less recovery speed gained per kill. Armor recovery speed is reset when your armor recovers. So that is really good. So whenever you kill an enemy, you get your armor back and so you're not going to be taking that much damage. But on top of that, whenever your armor is up, when your armor is up, you will store four health for every one enemy you or your crew kills. When your armor has been completely depleted and then starts to regenerate, you will gain health equal to the stored health amount. So essentially, you gain a bunch of armor from this, for killing enemies. And then you store up health. And then when your armor breaks, let's say you run into a, a dozer or something like that, a bulldozer, and they break your armor instantly, then you get a full bar of health back. And so you're essentially, it's going back and forth from full armor to full health, from full armor to full health, and it works really, really well because you are going to want to be really close considering this is a shotgun build. So that is my number one pick, and that's very important for this build. Again, you could try to get away with other ones, but this is the most optimal so we have the set the skills all of this i have skill points in mastermind enforcer technician and ghost the only one i don't have it in is in fugitive and none of these matter except for the enforcer ones i swear so the ones that matter most are in the shotgunner tree imagine that so with shotgunner i like to go up the left side if you guys don't have that many abilities but as you can see i have all of these aced because they're all very good for doing damage Shotgun Impact just increases your damage. This just increases your reload speed as well as your zoom sight speed, which is really good. When you're zooming down sights, it, like I was saying earlier, it's very, very accurate. So that's something you're going to want to go for. Uh, far Away, again, increases your accuracy. Very good. This one's running and gunning as well as rate of fire. That helps take down um, armored opponents like bulldozers very quickly. But all of that doesn't matter if you don't have this. This one, Overkill is key you're going to definitely want to get it aced if you can if not the base one is the main thing you want but so essentially when you kill an enemy with a shotgun uh, it says also with a saw but no one kills anyone with saws that's a joke uh, you receive 75 percent damage increase for 20 seconds that's a long time that's a very good damage boost and that's why i was saying you don't need the damage boost for the low ammo shotguns and if you get it aced then it applies to every weapon and your swap speed is increased by 80%. Then applies to every weapon is cool, but that's we're not really going to use that because we're using du dual shotguns anyways. The increased weapon speed. You'll see that I what I what I like to do when I encounter um, shields or specifically bulldozers is I swap to my pistol, shoot them twice or once depending on however long it takes to take off their armor, switch to my shotgun immediately. And two or three shot them like you'll see because I'm using Hawks HUD it tells you how much damage I'm doing per shot and I do three to five thousand damage pretty much one shotting these bulldozers and it's just it's a lot of damage you guys will see but it's very very good to have those the secondary or the ace if you can now I know some people will be going here looking for a beginner's guide and you won't have that many perks so if you can um, ace one of these or you're gonna have to ace one of these at least then I would pick far away far away is really good because like I was saying earlier the main thing this build lacks is not having the ability to fight long range and this increases your effective range while aiming down sights by 50% that's a ton as well increasing your accuracy by 40% so this is I mean like I was saying it's key you're gonna want to get this if you're gonna to wanna to do any damage long range. And you'll see here, even though I am using a shotgun, I get pretty good headshots even at 50 plus yards. Also, shotgun impact, that's probably be the secondary one I'll get just to further your damage on top of all this other damage you're getting from this bonus. It's just a good increase. So I'll pick those two to ace, but again, you can do whatever you feel is best for you. Now I'm going to go over my other skills. That's the base core of it. If you guys want to skip to the gameplay and see how it works, go ahead. I'm going to show you guys what I think are really good skills to pick up with this certain build. So I go down resilience because, uh, again, it increases your survivability with armor. 
but Ace, it also reduces flashbangs. Flashbangs last for like a million years in this game, so I got that because they're really annoying. But also Transporter. Transporter, I think pretty much everyone should run Transporter because throwing bags is, you know, a big part of this game, and you're going to want to throw them 50% further. It just saves everyone time, and so no one will hate you. Just pick that up real quick. And so the next one is, this is how I remedy the ammo situation. And uh, you don't have to do this if you run ammo bags or if all your friends run ammo bags. But I like to do this because uh, I don't really like to depend on anyone. So I run this and it increases the ammo range in, uh, pickup by 50% as well as every sixth enemy will drop an extra ammo box. So you're getting a lot of ammo boxes. You'll see in the end of this video I'll show... I got over 220 kills just on the last part of Watch Dogs, which is an absurd amount of kills. I had like 130% accuracy or something like that. It's because I'm getting that many multi-kills, and when you're getting that many kills, you're just going to have infinite ammo. Essentially, you'll see I have no ammo problems in this video, and it's mainly because of Scavenger. Like I was saying earlier, it's pretty flexible, especially if you're higher level. So you can take extra lead and run extra ammo, or you can take this one you can take really whatever one you want to increase your ammo capacity and they'll all be fine if you want more armor and stuff like that um, you're gonna want to run shock and all I might get that next it's between that and a ghost perk but this one's really good for technician I just use a couple of um, accuracy ones so this one increases your accuracy this one increases your accuracy as well from the hip and this one increases or it makes it so you can hit fire while running and this is just kind of a uh, perk that I chose because it really helps with your mobility and it's you know pretty good now these I think are pretty crucial just because the build is very slow because you're wearing armor and running really heavy guns and so you're gonna want to run this if you want to be mobile at all so I use duck and cover increases the stamina and you sprint faster you can also get this ace if you feel like you want dodge more or if you're taking too much damage, something like that. This one increases your movement speed when you break armor. And like I was saying, you break armor a lot in this build, but that's fine. But this will make it so you're running a lot faster all of the time. Um, this one increases your movement speed again. Um, this is the other one I was thinking of acing because it gives you sprint in all directions, which again increases your mobility and is very, very good. Shockproof, just something I picked up just because tasers are annoying. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much <laughs> that's pretty much it. Yeah, everyone knows the tasers suck. And here we are, the support part. So I list this as a, a damage slash support build because I like rocking support. A lot of my friends, even if I'm not playing with friends, this seems to help a lot with groups where they go down in the middle of the street while you're breaking Hoxton out of prison, and there's like seven shields around. Just yell at them. Yell at them and increase their movement speed as well as get them up once every 20 seconds. 100% chance. Get it aced. Don't cheap out. Don't get the basic. It never works. Just get the ace so it works 100% of the time. And that's the main reason I got this. Like I was saying, you can also get double doctor bags if that's what you like. But I got the seven more first aids as well as three more first aids aced. And so, um, and it says if the player is down within 15 meters. Um, it will be used automatically and this is just very good um, You can have heals wherever you go. You're not committed to putting down a doctor bag in one spot It's very good for on-the-go missions So I rock that quick fix is just whatever and this one is pretty good because uh, Reviving your enemies gets their health more so they have to heal less So it's just really good as far as support goes again if you wanted more stability you might go down here if you wanted more um, I guess if your enemy or if your team goes down a lot, then you can go down this one and hopefully get the hostage taker perk. But that is the perks that I run, and that is the build. I'll show you guys some gameplay after this with no commentary. I'm going to stop talking here. I tried to make it as short as I can, but uh, I really wanted to go in depth and make sure that you guys understood the build. Just uh, so no questions. But if you do have a question, make sure to leave a comment. If you like the video, make sure to like it, please. If you just liked it make sure to please leave a comment as well i'd like to know how i can improve the video and why you guys didn't like it if there's something i could do i always like to improve my videos like i was saying so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you want to see more content like this make sure to subscribe i come on with videos every week 
and please enjoy the next gameplay. I'll see you guys next time.